Hey guys, in this session we're going to be looking at the commutative property. Commutative property? I don't know how to say it, but I do, I do know how it works with the numbers. Anyway, let's have a look at this, all right? So we're going to have a look at um, first of the addition. What does this property actually mean? Uh, it basically means the order doesn't matter, all right? So think about it like this, all right? So if I say 5 plus 2, um, then I know that this is the same thing as saying 2 plus 5 because both of these numbers equal to 7. So um, this is basically a commutative property of addition. And of course, this always works with um, any time you add um, positive numbers, all right? So if you have like uh, 6 plus 7, then here you're going to get 7 plus 6. Now you might tend to argue what happens if there's negative numbers involved in it. Uh, we'll come back to that um, at another time. But let's have a look at this minus 1. What about if we do 5 minus 2? Uh, if we do 5 minus 2, uh, we know that 5 minus 2 is equal to 3. However, if we do it the other way around, like so if we flip the order around, we're going to get 2 minus 5, which actually equals to negative 3. So then you can actually say that, you know, there's actually no such thing as a commutative property for um, subtraction. Um, let's look at multiplication then. So same thing. If we were to do 5 multiplied by 2, uh, we're actually going to get 10. And if we do 2 multiplied by 5, we are also going to get 10. And as you can see, 5 times 2 is the same thing as saying 2 times 5. Uh, like I said in the previous example, 5 minus 2 is not equal to 2 minus 5. And I hope you guys can kind of see what's happening here. Uh, let's do another uh, example with that um, subtraction. I just want to show you guys. Uh, what about if I do 7 minus 3? If I do 7 minus 3, I'm going to get 4. Uh, but if I do 3 minus 7, I'm actually going to get negative 4. And so once again, I can see that 7 minus 3 is not the same as 3 minus 7. Um, one more multiplication. Uh, let's do 4 times 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. And we can say that 3 times 4 is also equal to 12. And of course, this right here is the commutative property of multiplication. So long story short, uh, the order doesn't matter. Uh, for addition and multiplication. Let's have a look at division then. So with division, uh, let's take something like, uh, I don't know, let's go 16. No, nah, let's not do 16. Let's do 15 divided by 5. Now we know that 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. However, if we were to do 5 divided by 15, um, we're actually going to get 1 third. Um, just have a look in the calculator here. I'm just going to chuck it up here for a second there. So what do we got? 5 divided by 15. As you can see, the number is coming up as 0 0.333, and it just keeps going, uh, recurring decimal. And I'm just going to convert that to a fraction. So if you ever want to convert a decimal to a fraction uh, using these calculators, you can press the F to D button, which changes it between fraction and decimal. All right, so 5 divided by 15 is actually equal to 1 third, which means we can say that 5 divided by 15 is not the same, is not equal to 5 divided by 15. All right, let's try another question. So if I try 20 divided by 10, then I know that this is equal to 2. But then if I do 10 divided by 20, uh, I'm actually going to get a half. So 10 divided by 20, that's 0 0.5, or we can say as it has a half. So once again, I can say that uh, 20 divided by 10 is not the same as 10 divided by 20. So it doesn't actually work. Um, it's it's funny, right? I mean, like, there's a lot of connections you you'll start seeing, uh, especially in maths. Um, plus and multiply tend to kind of like have similar rules, and then minus and divide tend to have like kind of similar rules, uh, similar rules as well. So you'll notice these patterns as you start uh, kind of doing uh, more of these. Uh, I don't know, as you start learning more maths, I guess. But anyway, guys, uh, that's pretty much the coverage of um, commutative property, and I know I covered all four of them here, but you know, for addition and multiplication, the order doesn't matter. Subtraction and division, the order definitely matters. Cool. That's basically it for this video, guys. As always, thank you for watching.